Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We're multicultural, we're inclusive. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, you want my little doll. How are you? So happy that you are here. Okay, so today I have another wig review for you today. This is a name brand wig. This is a Rock Walsh. I don't know why I said it that way. Um, but before we get started, I am wearing contacts and I did a s couple of videos these are the just for Kira contacts and this is one of their massage or massage <laughs> this is one of their mirage color contacts and it is in the color I think it's called Hito blue um, they're really interesting because they are brown and blue so if you are looking for something where you want something but not like drastic drastic these Mirage ones would be something that you may want. So let's talk about who we're talking about and why we're talking about her. Let me get the deets. Up. Let me get the deets, the deets, the deets. The... So I received this wig in a trade from another wig reviewer. So that is really exciting. So I will share with you purchasing details down below, but also right now, just so that you understand the deets really so who are we even talking about i'm going on and on this is a like i said raquel welsh wig this is the box that it comes in okay uh raquel raquel welsh <laughs> raquel welsh is a hair you wear brand and this is miss longing for long i have her in the color r1 r1621s which is a glazed color uh, that's what the plus means and this is glazed sand Okay, uh, this cap size is listed as average. Let's look at other deets. Um, longing for long, I will include right now as I'm talking the clips where I show A, getting her together, but the cap construction because she is a lot of things at one time. So the cap construction of longing for long has a lot going on. Okay, so it does have a monofilament top. So from here to here, this is all hand tied and it's laid in a way so that you can sort of set the part. If you're used to wigs that are not name brand, they're usually called free parting where you can set the part wherever you want and it makes it just look more natural like it's just growing out of your head. It also has a temple to temple lace front, which is here to here. I actually cut the lace on this. These wigs come pre-cut, but I cut it back a little bit just because although this says it's an average cap, it is quite large. It has Velcro adjustable straps and I have them like adjusted so that they're touching and sort of pulling. And so I found that the lace was sort of lifting a little bit. So I just cut it back a little bit. It says it has velvet lined ear tabs and nape. The ear tabs also are bendable as you can see. Um, so that's nice if you are wearing glasses or a mask and also just for comfort and shape of people's different shaped heads. It says it's a the rest of the cap is wefted and it is a, it's supposed to be a wavy curly style. I mean, yes. Okay. So you can get her from uh, places like The Wig Company, who's awesome, uh, wigs.com, which I love. You can also get it from Wig Outlet. If you buy it, not from an outlet, okay? And partially why you would do that is the outlets only carry certain colors and a lot of times they're open box situations which isn't bad um, but just so you know they don't often have like a lot of color choices at all but the regular retail price of this is right around four hundred dollars on wigs.com on, on wigoutlet.com uh, you can get her for around the 240 250 mark depending on the color um, the nice thing about wigs.com is sometimes they'll have particular colors that'll be even less uh, but in this case there's only three colors which is this is one of them there's only three colors available um, on wig outlet 
So let's get into my thoughts. A few things. I love this color. It is a blonde, but you can see that there are definitely some sort of ashy brown running through a sort of platinum highlight situation. I love the coloring of this. This is definitely more of a neutral slash cool tone option. Um, she does have a little bit of a texture, uh, so I think it would be good for a multi, multi, multicultural situation. The one thing I will say, and you know, I did trade this wig, so I can't speak to necessarily what has, has or has not uh, been done to the wig. I did wash her, um, and I had to utilize this Bonify Natural Oil Shine spray. I feel like I have... So I did use this shine, shine spray. I did shoo shoo shine spray. I used this shine spray, which I absolutely really love. Um, I also feel like, yeah, I have this awesome, this is leave-in conditioning spray. I'm going to use a little bit of that. Oh, God. I have a full review on that. And OMG, I absolutely love the smell. Yeah, I feel like it's helping a little bit. There was just a little bit of dryness, and I don't know if that is... I can't speak to why that is. I don't think that the dryness is, you know, necessarily part of how the wig would have come. Um, it's probably more of whatever was put on it or wasn't. I may have to go through and actually wash her another time. Um, but overall, she's super soft. And I do kind of like when wigs have a little bit of a, a grip so that they aren't a shiny looking and also they sort of stay in place when you put the wig into place. Mm -hmm. I wanted to use the sea salt spray on this wig, but I feel like she already has some stuff in her um, that I need to sort of wash out. So I don't want to keep putting more things on the fibers. I mean, even if it's made for a synthetic wig, you know, the more product you put on it, it really does build and sit on those fibers. You know, and they are fibers, so it, they will break off just like your hair would if you use a ton of product on them and, you know, you don't wash it out. So, um, I'm liking where she's at. And I can see, you know, with a, with a round brush, you know, I can accentuate the curls a bit. Um, I wouldn't, you know, every wig especially with monofilament tops but you know they are hand tied and they are hand styled so they're not going to be exactly the same uh, no two wigs but in general i do feel like this is more of a wavier style i think a sea salt spray could do um kind of what it did i think i used it on aesthetica's aspen to sort of accentuate those waves and maybe bring it closer to curly. But I do sort of like what's going on here. I kind of like that more wavy style anyway. So, all right, I think that this awesome leave-in conditioner spray helped out a lot as well. So I'm liking what's going on. So I did put a little bit of powder in where I set the part and then along the hairline as well. And I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit. I think definitely if I were to wear this out and about, um, I would need a wig grip. Faux show. Overall, I love the style. It does really, hmm, it does give me a sort of more relaxed version of Avalon. I said it goes Avalon. Uh, the coloring, I think, is very similar to the coloring of the Avalon that I have reviewed. So if you like, I'll, sh I'll put a picture up, but if you like to that color or you like that style, I think you would definitely enjoy this style as well because, you know, they're very close. This is definitely, you know, like I said, it's a little bit, a little bit longer and a little bit um, more relaxed, but I think she's only really in that 18, 16 to 18 inch range, depending on how tall you are. So it is long, but it's not super long. Um... I like the movement. I think she's great. She'd be wonderful for styling. I could, is this one heat safe? It doesn't appear on the card that it is heat safe. But let me double check. With the deets, with the deets, with the do 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 do. Does not indicate that it is heat safe. So, all right, I'm coming back really quick because I did end up uh, wanting to use sea spray, sea salt spray on it. So I just wanted to show sort of a before. Why can't I talk a before and after and just stick that in this video so that you could 
see what I was talking about. Okay, so this side does not have sea salt spray on it. So you can see this is how it is. Now I'm sea salt spraying this one. I had already started, so. And I'm sort of just like flinking, is flinking a word? Flinking these fibers all around and doing like a, you know when you used to crunch your hair? Doing a little crunch. I'm gonna actually just use my fingers to sort of separate through that. So I do see this going cl closer to like the curly-esque. I figured since I have to wash it anyway, might as, well, might as well put more crap in it. I don't even know if that's a good theory, but I can see, uh, I'm using the Aesthetica Sea Salt Spray, by the way. There's a full review on that that you could check out. I have one from Jean Reno as well. I'm scrunching, but I'm trying not to pull necessarily. So as you can see, and this will dry, but as you can see, it is sort of like giving it a little, oh yeah. I actually feel like it made it even more into the 16 inch range. So this is sort of a before and after of a sea salt spray. So let's go ahead and do the rest of it since we You can see even like you can just concentrate it right at the bottom as well. Which I really like actually. This one just had sort of a flatness in the front, so I needed to put it there too. But I feel like you could just concentrate it right at the bottom. God, this smell, I absolutely love the smell of the spray. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. So you can see how that sea salt spray, and this will dry, so it is a little bit wet, um, but the sea salt spray really does sort of accentuate some of that waviness to maybe push it more towards the curlier realm um, or just a deeper, sort of wave and I really enjoy that. Uh, so yeah, so that is what I have and I'll go back to what I was talking about before I decided to put sea salt spray on it. I do have something really special coming up that I'm so, so, so excited about. I have purchased some styling tools that can be used and they have cold settings and I'm really curious to see how they would work on wigs that are not heat friendly. I have used a steamer on non heat friendly wigs, but I do feel like trying to use more cold tools would be the best. And so I'm going to be experimenting with that. So I may experiment with this one. So look out for a bunch of videos, trying out different types of tools and seeing what tools work best with synthetic wigs, um, how they work and such, okay? Overall, I mean, this is on the higher end of wigs. So I think this is something that would definitely be an investment. Um, my suggestion is if you're going to get a wig like this, especially in this range, you know, do a little research, see if you can get it um, on a deal. Uh, if they're, if you're not super attached to the color, I would go with wigoutlets.com. Wig Outlet are the same company and the wig company have really great sales. So it's one of those things where it's like, put it in your cart, put it in your cart, put it in your cart and wait for a sale. 20, 30, 40% off is a lot. And I think it could make a huge difference. If financially it's not really an issue, I would say I think you would really love this wig. The monofilament top and lace parting is stunning. The color mix is gorgeous. Uh, the length I think is perfect to sort of give you a long hair look. Um, but not be too long so that you are messing with your hair all day every day also would give you great options for some styling that is what i have for you for longing for long from raquel welsh if you enjoy a name brand wig videos go ahead and not only give me a thumbs up but go ahead and look down below in my name brand wig playlist and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and if you have thank you you're my doll, baby. And I'll see you next video. Bye.